Changes in cricket equipment. Um, over time, as uh, the research is done in any sport, just like um, uh, for safety issues or anything, to enhance the safety of the players, um, such thing uh, takes place in cricket as well. You look at the helmet, not too long ago, you would say about 60s, 70s, uh, there were no helmets, there were injuries. Then first they came up with a helmet, but there wasn't any grill to it, and then that was added later. And it still continues in the same fashion for right now. Um, as far as the body gears are concerned, we do have like extra protection that is being made for example this is for your elbow protection because sometimes if you're batting and the ball jumps up in your face and your elbow is in front of you this protects it then you have chest guards and thigh guards and such and such uh, there, are, there are plenty of equipment out there it, it all depends on how comfortable you feel and at the same time of course safety is the main issue um, equipment another thing in padding uh, when you have the leg guards on Sometimes when you try and swing the bat, follow through, it hits the pad. So they're making the pads that are not so much intrusive into your space when you're trying to play uh, cricket. And also the weight. Because all this equipment that you have on, you have to run between the two wickets, uh, almost about 21, 22 steps back and forth to make runs, which can be very tough on a, on a summer day. So the padding for the legs, they're coming up with newer um, product that is much lighter and it stays in shape for longer and um, pr pretty much the weight the lesser weight you carry the faster you're going to run and you're not going to have run, uh, run out chances so uh, that's some of the equipment like ball and the bat and those are standard they, you can't change too much of, um, of those but as far as the protection is concerned yes we do get uh, new equipment every year almost